After all the investment into the playing squad over the last couple of years, Manchester United have stuttered and failed to push their way back up to the top end of the Premier League. Boss Eric Ten Hag is entering his third season in charge at Old Trafford. But despite winning two trophies in his first two seasons, there is a real demand from the fan base to improve and push themselves up the table. This season hasn't started the way many would have hoped, sitting in 14th place on just three points after the first three matches of the new campaign. Ten Hag Man UTD Man City Despite multiple new additions in various needed areas of the pitch, issues in the middle of the park have once again reared their heads, with various players failing to make an impact. One first-team member in particular has produced various disappointing displays, looking past his best after his big-money move to Old Trafford. Casemiro's disappointing time at Man United After joining the Red Devils in a £70 million deal from Real Madrid in 2022, Case Moreau was signed to try and provide needed quality and experience in the center of midfield. Manchester United midfielder Case Moreau. However, the move hasn't gone to plan, with the Brazilian failing to make the impact many would have envisaged, picking up two red cards and looking way off the pace in the Premier League. Jamie Carragher demanded that he leaves for Saudi Arabia last season, and perhaps he should have heeded that advice. He was touted with a move away from Manchester this summer, but remained at the club upon the closure of the transfer window, producing a disaster class against Liverpool during last weekend's 3-0 defeat. The 32-year-old was at fault for both of the goals in the first half against Arn Slot's side, being replaced at the break by academy graduate Toby Collier. However, the club may have made a mistake in allowing one midfielder to leave, with the former United ace undoubtedly a better talent than Case Moreau in 2024. United made a mistake allowing £9 million ace to leave. James Garner is one of many stars who have come through the United Academy making seven appearances for the club's first team. He was sent on various loan spells to Watford and Nottingham Forest before securing a permanent £9 million transfer to fellow Premier League side Everton during the summer of 2022. The move has allowed the 23-year-old to gain consistent first-team minutes, featuring 62 times for the Toffees under Sean Dyche and developing into a fabulous talent. His development has progressed rapidly in a short period of time, with the Englishman now undoubtedly a better midfield option than Case Moreau when delving into his stats from last season. Garner may have won slightly fewer tackles per 90 minutes, but did dominate in possession, completing more progressive carries while succeeding with more take-on attempts than the Brazilian. A carry is considered progressive if the ball is moved towards the opponent's goal at least 10 yards from its starting point or is carried into the penalty area. He also registered fewer errors that led to goals than the current United midfielder, with Garner undoubtedly a more dependable option than the 32-year-old. It was on midfield to Tim Skana. Given his form in the Premier League, the Red Devils certainly made a mistake by allowing the youngster to depart the club. With Garner only being 23, he still has the potential to improve further, potentially developing into a top-quality midfielder, demonstrating what he's capable of after his departure from his boyhood club.